Hi, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to my review of The Philadelphia Story. This movie stars uh, Cary Grant, Catherine Hepburn, and James Stewart. Uh, this movie is ba was based on a play uh, Catherine Hepburn was apparently doing at the time, and she acquired the screen rights to it, and she had it, you know, she, she of course stars in it. And it's basically the story of uh, Tracy uh, Lord, played by Catherine Hepburn. Uh, she was once married to Cary Grant's character, C.K. Dexter Haven, and, you know, they had a tumultuous marriage, you know, and of course, uh, he began to drink, and of course, because he had to deal with uh, uh, Catherine Hepburn's character, her her, perfect, her need to, for perfection, and he, you know, he said, yeah, he had faults, so they basically uh, break up and, and they get divorced. Their marriage only, I think, only lasts like two years. So, and as the story opens, she's about to get married uh, to another young man named George Kidgerton, a newly rich guy, gentleman, and of course, uh, this marriage is getting going to get covered. Uh, by uh, uh, two characters, uh, James Stewart, who plays Macaulay Connor, and uh, uh, Ruth Hussey, who plays Elizabeth Pembry. She's the photographer, and he's the writer. Okay, and the day before the wedding, they come in as supposedly friends of the uh, of the her brother, of Tracy Lord's brother, to cover the wedding. And this is one of those screwball comedies of manners and errors, where things are where things are under the surface <laughs> that things want to. Uh, Basically, uh, C.K. Dexter Haven, played by Cary Grant, you know, he, you can tell he still has an affection for his wife, even though, or his ex-wife in this case, and she's getting married, and he, he basically brings along, he gets basically blackmailed into uh, uh, bringing this, uh, the two uh, reporters in to, uh, to cover this, and of course, uh, Jimmy Stewart's character, Macaulay Connor, he, he's a writer, and he gets blackmailed into covering it. He doesn't really want to do this. He wants to be a serious writer, and he really wants to quit the magazine. And he works for, like, a magazine. I think they call it Spy. It's really like a tabloid magazine, and he really doesn't really want to work for it, <laughs> but he kind of has to. You know, he does it to, you know, to survive and eat. And his uh, photographer, played by Ruth Hussey, she plays Elizabeth Embry. You can tell she sort of has a crush on, uh, you know, she has a torch for uh, Jamie's, you know, Jimmy Stewart's character. And, you know, she's this long-suffering, you know, assistant, you know, the photographer, and, you know, she goes along and she basically tells me, yes, we have to take this assignment, you know, of course, you know, we have to eat, you know. So they go along to this, and during the course of it, basically, of a day and a half, I guess, all, all kind of things are un unfold. And like I said, it's kind of, you know, it's a comedy, but it's also a romance, and it's also a drama about things that people say, and, and, and about, specifically about Catherine's, uh, Catherine Hepburn's character, Tracy Lord, of her you know, basically getting to know her true self uh, through her interactions with her ex-husband, with this with this writer, Macaulay Connor, and also with um, her fiancé, uh, played by uh, John Howard, who plays George Kidder, her newly rich uh, fiancé. And like I said, you have her little sister, who's, you know, smart as a whip, and you have her, her father, and she has this kind of a, a strange relationship with her father, so she obviously has daddy issues and stuff, and uh, which I think drives her need to be, you know, yeah, perfect. Okay, which kind of drives away, kind of I think kind of drove away her ex-husband played by Cary Grant. And this is, you know, it's comedy. And it's really well done. And again, Jimmy Stewart won an Academy Award, I think, for Best Supporting Actor in this. And he's really good in this as a as a guy who gets to know her and gets to you know gets uh, Catherine Hepburn's character to reveal her true self. And that so you see them interact. So you know, it's good chemistry out throughout the movie between Cary Grant, of course, and. Uh, Catherine Hepburn and Jimmy Stewart and Catherine Hepburn and even uh, Ruth Hussey who plays you know the long-suffering photographer who's the assistant to uh, Jimmy Stewart's character and like I said it's a comedy and but it's also a drama and and it, it's really uh, well done and it's a Philadelphia story because that's where the marriage is taking uh, place and of course they're covering it so it's called the Philadelphia story but it's uh, really well done and really well acted and Catherine Hepburn's just a really great actress and I, I don't know how, how many Academy Awards he won, but she is really good in this, and she just plays the part uh, to perfection. And again, Cary Grant, you know, is not in this movie as much as you think he is, but he does play a vital role in this, okay? And of course, Jimmy Stewart is, is excellent. It's this uh, you know, cynical writer who's being forced to cover this, uh, you know, this wedding that he, he really doesn't want to do, but he comes to get to know, you know, Tracy Lord, and, and, her, his, and their interaction really kind of opens the character up. So it's really uh, a really well done movie. Like I said, it's one of those it's supposedly a screwball comedy, but it's to me it's more of a drama, a little romance, and, and the comedy is in there as well. And I definitely uh, really enjoyed the Philadelphia story. 
uh, great back and forth between the characters. So I'm going to give the Philadelphia story a uh, a 9 out of 10. It's really a really well done movie. I think they remade this as High Society, which I haven't seen. I think that's the movie with uh, Frank Sinatra. I think Bing Cosby and I think, uh, uh, what's her name, Grace Kelly? I think that's, I'm not sure about it, but I think they remade it. Uh, Philadelphia Story is a musical, of course, because you have Frank Sinatra in, in there and uh, Bing Crosby. I haven't seen that yet, but this movie is really good. And I definitely highly recommend it. It's the Criterion version, and it has a ton of special features on this. But I definitely highly recommend the Philadelphia Story, one of those great classic old, you know, Hollywood movies. I, you know, I really you know, love old Hollywood, so definitely highly recommend this Philadelphia Story. Definitely see it. Anyway, let me know if you've seen the Philadelphia Story. What do you think of it? Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. If you liked this review, please hit the subscribe button down below. I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram and description box, as well as my other channel, Paul's Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. And this is Trey Baxter saying so long and take care.